So as long as you can remember that, you can skip this. But I think we have to we have to come back and do it again as a human being for them to. Um, yeah, you gotta do it. To get the way. notebook, right? Yeah, basically, if you you can get access to the hideout now whenever you want, but to get them actually step through the bomb booth, you uh kind of gotta go through that again. Otherwise, the kid here will be just like, wait, how the hell do you know our code? Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, I'm actually kind of surprised. I managed to get uh, I managed to get in here on the first day. I I, I remember consistently failing to do that most of the time. Yeah, just remember you could shoot them. Okay, so uh, uh, this part is just learning how to skip water, really. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, oh, 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 boy. All right, and uh, the their kids, the kids hideout is actually a sewer. Oh, hey, Stitcher. Ah, bastard. Apparently, bubbles are murderous. Oh, right. Well, now it's the dawn of the second day, and 48 hours remain. It does that every time. You can't really do anything about it. Yeah. It's important, you know. And here we have another balloon. I don't know where they get these balloons in the shape of a... No. Oh. I don't know where get, they get these balloons shaped in the shape of an evil demonic being, but... Oh, this is the last one. I suppose so. Except for the one that keeps respawning. That's not what I mean. And here we are at the obser Hey, it's Bonnaroo! Hey, I remember you. Silent Scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. And, uh, that's basically a hint that he will, uh, dance at the next phase of time, which is... which is the glitch of night gay. Uh, yes? Play that strange song backwards. Oh, right! And this is how you learn about the secrets of the Song of Time. Yep. The Song of Time has a The Song of Time is actually useful in this game. Hey, it was useful yeah. in Ocarina of Time. Well, Every once in a while. To open a, it was useful to open a door and uh, face some blocks completely out of the time stream. And anyway, that was pretty much it. This guy here, I don't remember his name, but he is essentially the guy running the observatory. And for some reason, he lets the bombers hang out in his basement. Well, so long as they don't bug him. Yeah, yeah. My moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watching, he's probably causing trouble around Clock Tower. Well, this gives us the chance to use the telescope. Which is really just an elaborate event switch. Yeah. And if we go looking, I believe... Well, there's the moon. Good gravy, that thing's scary. Yeah, but if you look at the clock tower, you can just sort of make out something jumping on top of it. Yep. And then he quite looks at the moon, and... The moon sheds a single tear. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, how did the telescope do that? It's just oh, you son question. of a bitch. <laughs> Did he just moon us? I think so. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Probably another moon's tear. I don't know how these people just live with that fucking moon that close. But anyway. It's so, usually not that close. So now we go outside and collect the moon's tear, and we give that to our lovely friend, the uh, Deku Scrub in Clock Town, and we can use his flower thing to get up on the clock tower. But the yeah. clock tower won't open up until the festival, and the festival is in, well, it was in three days, it's now in one day. The festival is in the last six hours of these three days. So, we're going to use this guy to dance until night. There's another one, there's another one in West Clock Tower, which is probably a lot more convenient. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I honestly, I don't remember him being in West Clock Town. So yeah, go over there and, show, and I'll show you. We have time to burn. I suppose we do. How was it? Uh, I just all dance till dawn. Might as well. I mean, you could go into the shop where the other scarecrow is at any time, but... Yeah. Might as well be there or he's there to watch us. Might as well. 
I mean, why? I mean, why? Why else we uh, do this if not to show off? Dawn of the final day. <laughs> hey, the colors changed. Yep. Also, the third day adds a, adds a special event that pops up like every couple of hours in games. Really? What's that? Oh, it'll show, oh, it'll show up eventually. It's not like you can miss it. I suppose that's true. Anyway, make our way back to town. I don't want to. Just in the case of me being an absolute failure, I would rather not set myself up to not be there in time. Alright, I might as well spoil it now. So, uh, because the moon is so goddamn close, it's actually sending tremors to the Earth because of the air pressure shunting aside. Oh, yeah! And you'll also notice the music in Clock Town has gotten a little bit more frantic and dire. Yeah, the music changes every day. And the so, further along in the day you get, the more dire the music becomes. So let's find this guy in West Clock Town. And I guess we have four minutes to kill or something? Well, six minutes, actually. It's see in the uh, middle shop to the left. Middle shop to the left? Yeah. You mean this one? Yes, this one. I kind of forgot what's in each of these. I'll have to go search. Oh, the trading post, right. Yeah. There is a There he is. Yeah, right here. This is the exact same dude. Oh, I meant yes. You son of a birch. I love how it's default to do. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But I suppose it's better than accidentally talking to him and saying yes. Yeah, the good news is that he won't. The good news is that he won't ask you if it's on the uh, last. If it's on the last phase. Well, yeah, but that's because that would be impossible. Well, it's less impossible more. End of the final you. day. Twelve hours remaining. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's less that dude. It's less that. It's less impossible more. It would kill you. It's like, yikes, I'm getting out of town. Buddy, you couldn't get far enough out of town. You'd have to, like, transcend the universe to get away from that. Oh, yeah. So, uh, do you... <laughs> I've forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, walk outside and do the whole LPFA group look up. Oh, God, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I can't look up here. I can't right. look up in West. Oh, hey, the music has ended. Yeah, the music's ended because there's no music during nighttime except oh, during the last right. six hours. Oh my god. Look how close the thing is. Oh dear. That's pretty much just to drive home the point that, oh god, yeah. that thing is really going to hit us. Yep, so there's a bunch of treasure chests here that I don't think we can get all of them. I think we can get one of them right now when we um, use the moon moon's tier to get that guy's plot, but I don't know. Yeah, you might as well get that out of the way now. Oh, you're right! I can do that now. Carnival's starting, thinking about closing up shop, blah blah blah, your moon's tier. So one of the things about Zelda is, uh, unlike, unlike the, unlike Ocarina of Time, instead of just having you, uh, whip out your items and hope that someone notices, uh, it gives you little dialogue prompts to look through your bags and give them stuff, which I think is actually a lot better. Oh, yeah. Deed to the flower! I believe we get to keep that, don't we? We do get to keep it. It's part of a, it's part of a quest chain. Yep. Some items in this game, when you get them, um, you lose when you reset. And you'll understand what I mean about that in a few seconds. Or minutes, rather. Um, yeah. So, I, I'm, always, like, I'm always trying to keep stock of what I have to go out and rebuy and stuff. This game has a this game has a lot of like personal management that's actually kind of neat. So uh, like the other Deku flowers, this one shoots us out, but this one shoots us out a lot higher. Oh yeah, the yellow one shoots you out a ton oh, higher. Oh, I can't quite get that yet. Nope. No. I believe that tower gets higher every day. On the third one, I think you're just simply unable to get to it. No, I think you don't. You need the the hook shot. Spoilers. Oh, hey, guess what? The hook shot's in Zelda! Tell Spreeze! Who knew? Who, who would have guessed? Mm -hmm.
<laughs> so, uh, the game's a, the game's a bro and uh, gives you your first heart piece right out the gate. Yup. Just to pour, just to prove, hey, there's heart pieces in this game. There's another chest over there that I, I I'm pretty sure we. You're still can't get. Yeah, you're completely unable to get to that chest until you get the bookshot. I'm pretty sure the chest on that tower is only there in the third day, though. Well, there's nothing stopping us from looking. I suppose that's later. true. Owl statue. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, time management involved in this game. And uh, a couple of events that take place over all three days, so if you're gonna do them, you have to do them right. And one of the ones I mentioned earlier is, I will only name as Cafe right now, is a quest that has very specific timings uh, across all three days, and the final event is such that uh, it's very easy to mess up, and if you mess it up, you have to start all the way back from the first day. It's really not that difficult, especially with one of the Songs of Time secrets. Well... Which I expect you to have running. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's not why. Like, in the last section, you can... you can... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but it is possible to just screw yourself. And, uh... Oh, and... It's time for the festival. Oh, boy! Now, I want to know who designed their clock tower to do this. I don't know, but that's some pretty impressive technology. It is, and also incredibly stupid. It really is. Also, hey, we can go up to the top of the clock tower. Oh, wait, remember who's at the top of the clock tower? Oh, right! Seems like they might have uh, wanted to mention that. Anyway, now, now you'll notice that the game kind of times us down. Yeah, this is what this is where I was coming up with the uh, whole one minute one minute equals one hour thing. Yeah. Because it straight out tells you right here. So grab this heart piece. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a heart container. Well, it's not gonna matter when the moon hits the fucking world. But once we come up here, we will find that the Skull Kid has gone out of his fucking mind. Yeah, um, there's a special thing about that mask, is that it's kinda evil. evil. Yeah, and, uh, it's kind of a wearing away at the school kid's mind this whole time. No, he really isn't. Now, Ocean Canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here! SMASH! Yeah, uh, Tail finally realized when the school kid finally gave in in this last day. <laughs> um, Fucking too late, though. Yeah, um... Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> yep, just look up. Look how close it is. If it's something that can be stopped, just try and stop it. So, uh, the school kid's doing something that's really, really bad right now. And that's essentially bringing the moon down right on our faces super fast. He's pulling it down faster. So, there's not a whole lot of options we have, but there is one thing we can do. And that's hey, bubble him! Guess what? I think I missed. That's why you walked on. Pop! And all he really does is drop the Ocarina of Time. Oh wait, that's yeah. the Ocarina of Time! Yeah. So the school kid's not even going to pretend like that matters. Ocarina of Time is back. But what the hell can we do? Oh, wait! Oh, God. Kid Zelda. No, oh, she's so not pretty. Actually, wait. Huh. She's a lot less ugly now than she was in Ocarina of Time. They took the time to touch up the graphics as well they could. Yeah. Did you notice things look sort of less polygonal? Sort of less. I mean, just as good as the N64 could handle, I suppose. Yeah. This was one of the last games for the 64, wasn't it? Uh, I think the N64 went on till like, 2001. I can't remember uh, anything made for it until- Oh, Paper Mario, right! Well, 
Time to learn the song of time again. Oh, hey, you remember where your C buttons were? Yep. <laughs> I'm not screwing up this time. Too dramatic. Yeah. You remember the song of time. Really? Because I was pretty sure it was a song of memories of Oh God, Ganon. It could be both. <laughs> Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you. Hmm. Hint. Hint, hint. Well, you kind of got no other options. Chance. Try to shoot him again, just to make sure. Maybe <laughs> you can hurt him this time. Snap out of it! What are you doing? <laughs> Isn't gonna help us? Oh, really? Anybody? Goddess of Time! Well, I think we have but one thing to do. Shoot his ass. Yeah. When did you get that? Oh my goodness, what is that? Hey, I said shoot him. Well, I'm not gonna shoot him. That's actually really cool. I love that trumpet. Yep. Dawn of the first day? Hell yeah! Yeah, uh, anything to get us away for further away from the moon. So, this is sort of the theme of Majora's Mask. You have three oh. days to save the world. Also, notice, any collectibles you picked up, like, say, ammo or rupees... They disappear. Yeah. But you have three days in which to save the world, and... <laughs> at least... At the end of the third day, the world ends. But, you have the Ocarina of Time, which has the power to send you back to the dawn of the first day, and continually try not to fail. And the idea is to manage your time between those three days to collect the four MacGuffins you need to defeat the Skull Kid and defeat the evil of Majora's Mask forever. As yep. Link is about to find out. So, uh, I feel I should mention, it's entirely possible to complete the game within a single set of three days after getting the Ocarina. It is, but... It's ballsy. Though. It's very ballsy, and I don't recommend it. It everything requires four goes over. everything else in the game. And the moon is right back where it was. Thank God. So it figures, you know, you save the world once and the goddess of time is handing you out freebies. I think it's less the goddess's influence and more the straight up magic. More or less. And breaking from tradition, Link actually gets his second song really quick. Yep. Because, you know, we kind of got to untechnify if we're going to get anything done. Yep. The first day hammers in that you really can't do a whole lot of techy scrub. Yep. Oh my god, please stop touching me. I needed to. What the fuck? Where the hell did he get that? I completely forgot about it. Really, where did he get that? Good lord. Was he carrying that in his back pocket? I think, it, I think that was his backpack. Good lord, he's like a, he's like a Looney Tune. <laughs> Remember this song? It'll be important later. Later? Pretty much the entire game. Oh, this yeah. is the song of healing, and... As you will see quite shortly... Purges Link of the evil influence of the curse that the Skull Kid put on us. And produces a mask in its place. And returns us to normal. Oh hey, we have a sword again. This is a melee that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. That's pretty specific. Very specific. Where did we come up with this? So, now that we have the Deku Mask, we can be Normal Link or Deku Link at any time we desire. And, as you would probably imagine, switching between the forms you'll get is another core mechanic of Majora's Mask. Yep. Spoilers, you get more than one form. Oh, no, really? They were just gonna introduce this for shits and giggles. I know, it's kinda like... Uh... Oh. Finish cap? Oh, God. Uh... Oh god, um, how do we go- how do we go about telling you this? We should run. We- we ran like hell. We should really run and leave. Leave, Link. Leave now. Leave. Leave. Leave before it. Leave before it comes. Oh god! Oh god! 
Yo! That will be burned in your retinas forever. Good lord. If you leave that mask out there, something terrible will happen. And this is where we learn that Majora's Mask is completely evil. It's not really the Skull Kid's fault. The mask is, an, is a cursed item used for hexing rituals in an ancient tribe and holds the spirit of an evil god. So, you know, more, only more sort of half his fault. Uh, more specifically, a uh, god of death. Yeah! Nintendo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, there's not much else its powers can be used for. <laughs> We're so great. So, this sort of begs the question, how did you get it and why were you just holding on to it instead of burning it? Because, uh, money. I want to be entirely honest here, the uh, Happy Mask Man doesn't exactly have pure motives. Yeah, good point. He looks evil. I kind of think that the Happy Mask Man is Ganon in disguise. <laughs> that would have been an awesome twist. Spoiler, that's not really what happens. Yeah. Not everybody could be as pure. Not everybody could be as pure as the Driven Snow as Link. Yep. Well, that's all for now. That is uh, Majora's Mask the first three days, really. So uh, tune in next time when we will continue and start to figure out what the hell we're supposed to be doing. Uh, thanks for showing up, Madarin. No problem.